Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has managed to outperform the stock market by garnering 13% higher gains than if she simply invested in the S&P 500. Listen to me. Professional money managers strive to outperform the market yearly. The vast majority never do, but for Nancy Pelosi, from 2019 to 2022, it comes with ease. Her new financial disclosures tell you all you need to know. She and her husband gobbled up risky stock options, betting the price of Google, Salesforce, micro technologies, and even the gaming platform Roblox would push skyward. Well, guess what? They did. It helped her rake in as much as $30 million from those bets on big tech. All the while, Nancy Pelosi squashed any attempts to rein in big tech firms, something that clearly would have crushed her carefully picked stocks. But Nancy is calculated. On the outside, she pretended to distance herself from big tech and even seemed to support antitrust legislation. Watch this clip from back in June. Let me just say what this is about rather than their characterization about it. There has been concern on both sides of the aisle about the consolidation of power of the tech companies. And these, this legislation is an attempt to address that. Oh, nothing is ever what it seems, though, in Washington. Don't be fooled by that. See, behind closed doors, Nancy Pelosi stayed in cahoots with the big tech overlords, even speaking privately with Apple CEO Tim Cook about that very legislation she was talking about. Those antitrust bills, by the way, they're being slow rolled by Nancy Pelosi right now, still yet to hit the floor. She is literally pulling the strings to keep her stock advantage. So her net worth right now stands as high as, by some accounts, $250 million. Those estimates are based off of her own filings. Now, in 2004, an assessment by Open Secrets put her net worth at 40 million. Again, the increase from 40 to 250 million far outperforms even the best money managers and stock traders. And you may remember, 2004 was an important year. Congress passed the Stock Act. It sounded good, but the teeth were not that great. It barred members of Congress from trading stocks off inside information only available to them. What it didn't ban, though, is buying stocks, then pushing or even blocking legislation in an effort to help improve the stock price. Should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. This is a free market and people... We are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. I love when someone who wants socialism now starts talking about free market economies when their husband is making millions of dollars off apparently her power, okay? There is nothing free about markets being protected by Nancy Pelosi, who happens to be the Speaker of the House. When you and I have no idea that's happening, she profits off it? Come on. That's called the speaker's advantage. I coined that term, by the way. It is, I believe, Pelosi that is exploiting all of this for her own financial gain. She claims her husband does all the trading. Give me a break. I don't think anyone believes that Nancy Pelosi and her husband don't discuss what might make good or bad investments, specifically in regards to what legislation Pelosi plans on supporting or blocking. Hey, if it's good, we'll move it to the floor. If it's bad, I'll block it. And all the while, we'll make lots of money doing it. That's wrong, folks. And it should anger every single one of you. She, of all people, has the most direct impact on what legislation can be allowed to move forward or not. She has the ability to control the stock price, not based off of information she receives, but based off of her own actions of Speaker of the House. The reality is, it's not just Pelosi either. There is a reason, as of right now, I can't find one Republican senator who supports this newest bill, not one Republican senator. The, this bill could soon be filed, by the way, by radical Georgia Democrat Senator John Ossoff. But here's what the bill would do. It would literally ban all members of Congress 
from trading individual stocks. It would also require members of Congress to put assets in a blind trust. So you can't profit off of your holdings. As you can imagine, these bills are not popular in Congress, not in the Senate, not in the House. Congress is a very exclusive club and a very wealthy one at that. The median net worth of a member of Congress is well over $1 million. That's the median. The average net worth pushes to six or seven million dollars. When I tell you our nation is being run by a ruling class of elites, I am not kidding you. And they don't like being told what they can and cannot invest in. As Business Insider recently points out, 52 members of Congress, from both sides of the aisle, by the way, have violated the law designed to stop insider trading. The violations mostly include failing to report certain stock trades. And the excuses always range from, oh, they were clerical errors, it was ignorance, we didn't know the law, or of course, oh, my accountant made a big mistake. Well, you believe them or don't believe them. This is a bipartisan problem. We're talking about millions of dollars of unreported trades with at least the appearance of impropriety. And if you want proof the system is rigged in their favor, the penalty for violating the Stock Act is a standard $200 fine. $200, folks, that is offensive. This is what I mean. When Congress rules itself, it's a big brotherhood and sisterhood there. $200 is peanuts when millions of dollars are being made.